Hello and welcome to Wild Owl TV. So, the clocks went forward yesterday and there I am thinking that actually I didn't have anything on this morning, I was just gonna have a little bit of a lie in. And then I got a message from Rich McD to say the Hawfinch was back in his garden. So I quickly showered, got dressed, grabbed all my gear and I'm right now sat in Rich's conservatory looking over his garden. And the Hawfinch has just come in very momentarily and is gone again but I'm now staking out the joint and I've got a camera set up uh, on the uh, feeder where Rich reckons the whole finch is likely to go. Just keeping one eye open as I'm talking to you. So I've got my trail cam out there. I've got three or four cameras with me um, as well as my stills camera. I've been a bit distracted with a flying squirrel. <laughs> I've got some slow motion I'll send to you. I'll put that up on the page, uh, which is quite funny. But I've come here for the whole finch. This is a, a bird that's very rare in the UK. If you want to see hawfinches, you can only go to certain places to see them. But from what I've um, uh, seen on the internet, it seems to be a bit of an influx of hawfinches um, into the UK um, this last couple of months. And I suspect that the bird we're seeing here is one of these migrants. So it's very exciting because it's a really um, interesting bird. So I'm going to sit here now, see if I can get some film um, and um, hopefully I'll have something to show you and share this wonderful colourful bird with you. See you in a bit. So let's have a look and see if we can find this whole finch. This is a tree that Rich um, puts a lot of his feeders into and this is what has attracted this bird. And if you look carefully, I'll just zoom in here, you'll see this beautiful bird. So this is a male hawfinch. The hawfinch is the largest of the British finches. You'll be very familiar with goldfinches and greenfinches and chaffinches. This is the largest British finch and it's um, a breeding bird of Britain. Um, we have roughly about 800 breeding pairs. But in the winter there's an influx of foreign birds that come to our country during the harsher we weather in their, um, in their own breeding grounds. And apparently the influx this year, 1718, is, I've read somewhere, it was 12 times um, the normal. So there's been a huge influx this year, which apparently is down to changes to some of the um, wintering grounds that they usually would go to in other parts of Europe. Um, now the hawfinch is renowned, not just for, for being very colorful. And as you can see, this bird looks like a, like a, like a small parrot. There's beautiful colors on it but they're renowned for having that very large bill. And that bill enables this particular species to crack open cherry seeds, cherry stones, um, and yew seeds, and other very hard seeds, which other birds aren't geared up to break into. And this is another reason why the hawfinch is found in specific habitats regularly seen in churchyards where you have very old trees, particularly yew trees. And in fact, um, I always remember from years ago, um, there was a, um, uh, a church in the Forest of Dean uh, where um, everybody used to go to photograph this bird. And looking at this one, I can see why. Real stunner. So as I say, this particular bird is unlikely to be one of our own. It's likely to be a migrant bird and um, it just happens to like Rich McDee's garden, which is great. And Rich, um, I mean, I'm very jealous, don't get me wrong, very, very jealous. <laughs> but uh, Rich has um, put some peanuts out for this bird, which I recommended, um, which is the next best thing. Um, and uh, that's what this hawfinch has been feeding from. But it's very, very shy. So this film is from my trail cam that I set up close to the feeder and I'm also filming it from the conservatory with my other high definition camera but I've had to be very very quiet and very still because as you can see looking at this bird it's, it's checking all around it the whole time.
the first record of hawfinches was actually in 1666, believe it or not. Um, and um, in fact, they also found fossil evidence from the last glaciation, um, glaciation from um, 10 to 120,000 years ago. So, as with many species, they've been around a long time. But of course, in the UK, with modern modernisation and loss of habitats and changes to the countryside and changes to all sorts of environments, as with many species around the world, some of these birds are just heavily affected. And that's why the hawfinch is considered a red listed species. That's the, its conservation status. Back in 2002 to 2007, it was considered an amber listed. So it's just another species that has been declining. So sad. So we need to enjoy this particular bird. And as with all species, really is just a reminder of what beautiful birds we have in the UK. So as I say, I'm very jealous about this. It isn't in the wild owl garden, but it's not too far away. And as yet, it hasn't decided to fly over and come and see me. But I really appreciate Rich letting me come in and film this to share with everybody. Could be a few years before we have this experience again in Yate. Certainly in the Yate garden anyway. Wonderful. So there we we. <laughs> so there we are. That is an amazing bird. Now it's not going to be here all through the year. It's not a breeding bird. It's just a, an individual that's really decided it likes Rich's garden. So Rich, thank you so much Hello, for buddy. for letting me come round and film this hall finch and some of the video that you can see there is is riches and um some of it is mine we've got we, between the two of us we put together some great footage there for you love it and love wildlife it really is amazing and we'll see you again on wild owl tv great and this stuff. band helps me a lot all the time so always appreciated always a pleasure Ian. bye for now cheers <laughs>